Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about the cavity preparation terminologies. So let's start with class 1. Okay, first of all, let's look. We can see that there are some walls, some external walls that are exposed to the outer surface and we have internal walls which are not exposed to the outer surface of the cavity. Okay, so the internal walls are in the floor, they're not exposed to the outer surface, and the external walls are exposed to the outer surface of the cavity. The junction between the external wall and the outer surface of the cavity is called the cavo surface margin. Okay, the cavo surface margins. So it is the margins of the cavity that are exposed to the outer surface. Okay? The cavo surface margins. Okay. When we look at the tooth, we can see that the internal wall here in class one, it's called pulpal floor because it is just on top of the pulp. Okay. You can see here the pulp and it is just on top of the pulp. So it's called pulpal floor. Okay. And it is considered an internal wall because it's not exposed to the outer surface. After that, this is the mesial surface. So this is the mesial wall. On the other side, we have the distal surface. So this is the distal wall. On the facial or buccal, this is the facial wall or buccal wall. Okay. On the lingual surface, this is the lingual wall. Okay. And all of these are, are considered our external walls. So in class one, we have four external walls and one internal wall. Mesial distal, facial, and lingual walls, okay, and a pulpal floor. The, the junction between two walls is called line angle, okay? So we can see here that there is a junction between two walls. This line is called line angle, okay? So here, let's take an example. This is the facial wall. This is the mesial wall. So this is the mesiofacial line angle, okay? So you see, this is the mesial wall, facial wall, so this is the mesiofacial line angle. Let's take another example. This is the lingual wall and the mesial wall, so this line angle is called the mesiolingual line angle, okay? On the other side, we have a distal wall and the facial wall. So this line angle is called distal facial line angle. Okay. And then we have the distal wall, lingual wall. So this is the distal lingual line angle. So as we said, the line angles is the junction between two walls. And you can see it here. You can see. Any junction between two walls is called a line angle, okay? After that, we can see that we have something called point angle. The point angles are the junction between three walls. So, you can see here that there are two walls and a floor. This is a point angle, okay? So, let's take an example. This is the mesial wall. This is the facial wall, okay? So it's called mesial facial pulpal point angle. Mesial facial pulpal point angle. And here, this is the mesial lingual pulpal point angle. Mesial lingual pulpal point angle. Over here, we have the distal wall. So this is the distal facial pulpal point angle. This two lingual pulpal point angle. Okay, so the wall is one surface, the line angle is the junction between two walls, and the point angle is the junction between three walls. 
Let's look at a class one compound. Okay, uh, we have a similar walls. As we said, the class one compound has an extension, either facial or lingual. Okay, we can see here that the class one compound has like a step. So first we have the occlusal part. Okay. This is the lingual surface, the lingual wall. This is the facial surface, facial wall. Okay. And then lingual wall. We have the pulpal floor, mesial wall, distal wall. Okay. After that, let's look at the step. Okay. There is like a vertical wall here. Okay. And then there is a floor at the bottom. Okay. So, the, as we said before, the pulpal floor is an internal wall. This is called the gingival floor because it is near the gingival margin, okay? This is called the gingival floor. The gingival floor is an external wall, okay? Because it's exposed to the surface. The vertical wall that you can see here, it's called axial wall. So, it is towards the pulp but it is vertical so because it's vertical it's called axial wall okay so this is very important to know that the internal walls are that pulpal and axial walls are internal walls the gingival floor is an external wall okay so the floors that we have are pulpal and gingival okay the walls are vertical, the floors are horizontal. So let's look here at the line angles. Here there is a junction between the pulpal floor and axial wall, okay? So this is called, so this is called axial pulpal line angle. Okay, so this is the axial wall. This is the pulpal floor, okay? So it's called axial pulpa line angle, okay? Axial pulpa line angle. Okay. Let us look at this line angle here. So it's a junction between the gingiva and axial wall. So it's called axial gingival line angle. Let's look at the line angles here, okay? So this is the axial distal line angle. The axial distal line angle. The axial mesial line angle. Let's look at the point angle here. This is the The axial, gingival, distal, point, angle. Okay, let's look at the class two. Here we have the facial wall, lingual wall, pulpal floor. Okay, then let's look at the side. This is the axial wall. Okay, as we said, it comes vertical. And then, okay, you see, so uh, in the lab, when we tell you that the, uh, the wall is deep axially, it means that the axial wall, it's towards the pulp, okay? It's inside the cavity. So the axial wall is the vertical wall, okay? After that, we have the gingival floor, okay? So as we said, we have pulpal floor and gingival floor. Pulpal floor, gingival floor, okay? This is the axial wall, an internal wall, okay? After that, we have all the line angles and point angles, okay? As we said, the line angles is a junction between two walls and the point angles is the junction between three walls, okay? Over here, this is the axial pulpal line angle, okay? This is the axial gingival line angle, Okay, let's look at class three. So we have here also walls, external walls. This is the palatal 
wall. This is the palatal wall because it's toward the palate. Okay. This is the labial wall because it's towards the labial surface. This is the incisal wall because it's towards the incisal surface. Okay. It's called incisal wall. And then this is the gingival floor. Okay. Because it's near to the gingival. Okay. So we have here what's facing you is the axial wall, which is the internal wall. As we said, it is, it's facing the pulp, but from the side, it's a vertical wall. Okay, so it is called the axial wall. Okay, let's look. We also have here line angles and point angles. Okay, and we name them the same way. Looking at class five, we can see here. This is the incisal wall towards the incisal surface, okay? We have the mesial wall, the distal wall, and the gingival floor, okay? All of those are external walls. Then we have the axial wall, which is fa a vertical facing the pulp from the side, okay? The axial wall. Let's take here an example for line angles. We have the mesu incisal line angle, mesu axial incisal point angle, and the rest is the same. Let's look at this complex cavity. We have here external walls. So this is a facial wall. This is the lingual wall, but it's missing over here. Okay, then we have the mesial wall, but here the mesial wall is missing. We have the distal wall, okay, and then we have the pulpal floor towards the pulp, okay, pulpal floor. Then we have the axial wall, which is the vertical wall, okay. See here the vertical walls, these are axial wall, they're internal walls, okay. Then we have here the gingival floor, okay? These are the gingival floors over here, okay? After that, we also name the line angles and point angles. As we mentioned previously, the line angles are a junction between two walls and the point angle is a junction between three walls, okay? So in this video, we looked at the cavity preparation terminologies and the uh, line angles, point angles, what are the internal walls and external walls. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.